So I'm here at this uh, place called BMI Airport Parking. You can see they, they park outside of their own lot. But I parked here three weeks ago um, for a flight and came back two weeks later and my keys were locked in my truck and they said they'd reimburse me. They had to get a locksmith because they couldn't open it. And it's been three weeks, they haven't reimbursed me. They're not answering emails, they're hanging up when I call. Uh, this place is an absolute joke. So what they do is they got like a thousand cars on this lot and they leave all the, they have to move them around constantly because they're parked bumper to bumper. And so what they're doing is they're leaving the keys in the car and then they just keep moving them around and the cars are unlocked. So we're gonna go over here. You can see they got a guard shack here and there's absolutely no one in this guard shack. I walked this whole lot to get to my truck and the whole time I walked it, no one stopped me. Um, no, no one out here. See, no guard. People in there, they're sleeping on their shift. These are the more legit parking spaces here. I'm gonna go to the back and then uh, show you. We were only able to go about halfway with the locksmith and then he had to stop because of a big pothole. But look at this, all the, they just, all, all these cars are open. Keys are in them. They, they were asking me, I've got the text messages asking me for my code. So I don't know the code to my truck, I don't use it. Saw one car here with keys uh, right in the door. Looks like now they're hiding the keys. I, I did see them on the dash uh, three weeks ago. This is the pothole where I had to stop with the locksmith. But three weeks ago, they had the keys right on the dash. Now I guarantee, I'm not gonna try to open these, but I guarantee they're all open. And I guarantee the keys are in the cars. Because and there's one right there. Look at this. Keys right there on the dash. And you know, if you look at the reviews, everyone's complaining about damage. It's, it's because when you get over here, I mean, look at this. These cars are parked 10 deep in a line. and they're just moving them all day. Moving cars around, damaging them, driving over this in people's cars. And then they, they promise everyone, hey, you'll get a refund. They never get back to you. I called Wednesday and I told them, if, if you don't give me a refund, I'm gonna be out here protesting. You know what they did? They told me to email them. Email them, because they've responded so well to emails. Look at this. Look at all these cars here. And mine was all the way there in the back, in the very back, F-150. It was so tight, they had cars when I came right here on this, the, the driveway here. And I had an inch between my mirrors to get through. But we're gonna go stop by the, the guard shack and we're gonna go have a talk with these people.